Hello dear customizers, welcome to TS Custom. As you may all know, uh, last year we did electric solar boat and we tested it a lot, but we had one major problem that was of course ex expected to happen. Uh, the electric motor didn't have any cooling because I simply didn't have enough time to implement it. So we were limited to about uh, one hour, one and a half hour of uh, uh, of riding uh, on a single take, then the motor would overheat, we would need to stop and let it cool down a bit, then we could ride again. So, uh, during the winter I was preparing the water cooling for the motor. And there it is, all disassembled and already the modification has have been done. Uh, the main modification is on this stator housing we will be cooling this uh, stator housing with water and also this is the front part of the motor on this part i drilled these holes so the air would go in and cool the cool the rotor of course the ambient temperature is going to be a lot better because during the testing uh, this part uh, the stator part of the motor was really becoming uh, very hot. I think we got it up to, I, I would be sure, to 130 Celsius. And uh, you, I, can, I can see on this part uh, that is insulating the windings of the stator. It's this is how it should be looking. This is the good one, but this was like it was so heated up that it just the, it it cracks and it's not good. So we really test the limits. We tested the limits of this motor and almost burned it out. So stick around if you want to check all the modifications I did to this motor and enjoy the video. I modified this uh, casing for the motor. I had this uh, cutouts made on a lathe. And now what I need to do is something like this. This is the 3D model I made of the stator housing of the motor. And this is what I need to do now on the lathe. So these cutouts right here. This will be welded on later. And you can see the water is entering here and then goes to this channel. And then like here, and then it goes here, and exits right here. And as you can see, I also made this cut, like a step here. This is where the uh, steel sheet will go. And then I will just weld, weld everything 
while everything up and it should be one piece with the channel for the water cooling so what i need to figure out now is how to attach this uh, motor stator uh, to the milling machines because it's pretty tricky so when i figure this out i'll get back to you so this is my setup i need to cut this piece off and I have the part with in the grip with this on this side and here with this and also these clamps are gripping from either side and I hope it will work we'll see Yeah, in the end uh, this was not working, I could not get the piece uh, prop properly secured and it was always slipping out, so in the end I just grinded the channels out with the good old grinder and I made this piece, it's going to block the water flow and direct it. Hmm? And now we have to weld this piece and we have my friend Hi everybody! Kiki. Hi! He is a welding specialist He's going to make his magic Now we're gonna fill these holes Yeah Ooh. Nice smoking hole So machine guy went a little bit too deep and now we have to fill these holes so the water would not go through the screw. Excuse me? Yes? Are you from Rimac? No, I'm I, not. You are Mate Rimac? No, no. Ah. 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 Popcorn! We're making popcorn! And now we need to weld this sheet metal shit, like shit. this. Sheet metal. Sheet <laughs> metal. And now I just need to weld these two pieces. This one and this one. I built these pieces. This is for the water inlet and outlet. One is here, second is here. And now I need to I also yeah, I also drill the hole here and here. And I need to weld them like this and like this. So this bearing needed to be replaced, this is the new one of course, the old one was in a terrible shape, it was all rusted. This one is okay and uh, I, didn't, I decided not to change it because it would be very hard to get out. There is no room for the grip to pull it out, so it's a good, it's a good bearing, so I just left it. So this is the rotor of the motor and I already cleaned it, I, I sent this uh, collector contacts, so let's go, let's put the new bearing in. These are the stator windings and 
This is the protection they had. This is captain tape and I'm going to additionally secure this one because it has dam damaged insulation from the heat. I'm just going to try make it up with this tape. And now I just need to put the windings in. I hope this is the correct way. I need to clean this up for it to be able to be soldered. And for soldering it, I have this nice huge soldering iron. Should do the job. Now I need to put this piece, it goes like this. Don't mind this, I had a little accident while painting this paint uh, was dissolving the paint underneath so it looks like this it's because i was in a hurry and i made a too thick layer of this paint and then this happened hold it with this so it doesn't interfere with the collector going on it And that's it. The motor is assembled and tested. Everything for the water cooling has been prepared and the only thing we need to do now is mount it to the boat and see how it goes. Till next time, stay customized.